What is up with all the tragic backstories, Disney? We know it can sometimes make the characters more interesting, but you used to at least leave the poor Disney princes out of it. You think that was easy? Now it seems like every Disney prince has to have a messed up origin story too. And what you did to poor Prince Eugene entangled the series. It's just so sad. Look at me. Look at me. I'm right here. Don't go stay with me, Eugene. We all know that Disney princesses have unfortunate upbringings, but now it seems that the trend has extended to Disney princes, too. And some of their stories are seriously messed up. Keep watching to find out the tragic past of some of your favorite Disney love interests. Aladdin Riff Raff Street Rat We all know how that song goes. Aladdin is on everyone's mind lately with the release of the live-action remake, and when you think of Disney princes with sad backstories, Aladdin might be the first one that comes to mind. Aladdin grew up poor on the streets of Agrabah. He was orphaned at a very young age. In the new version, he says, All he can remember of his mom was a song that she sang. To survive, Aladdin had to learn how to steal. As he says in the song, he has to eat to live, but he has to steal steal to eat. That's a really sad existence. Thankfully, he has Abu as a companion. Is this where you live? Yep, just me and Abu. Aladdin is a diamond in the rough and deserved the happy ending he got with Princess Jasmine. Prince Hans Okay, we know Hans is a villain, but he's still a Disney prince, and his backstory explains why he's so evil. We find out a little from the movie Frozen, but the novel A Frozen Heart talks a lot more about his past. And honestly, we feel a little sorry for him. Glad I caught you. Hans. Hans is the youngest of 13 princes. There was no way he was going to rule a kingdom unless he married, but he suffered a lot of physical and emotional abuse at the hands of his older brothers, and his dad, the king, encouraged it. He believed that the strong should pick on the weak. His dad viewed Hans as a total useless prince. He neglected Hans and played favorites with the older boys. It doesn't excuse the way Hans acts, but at least we understand why he's such a villain. If only there was someone out there who loved you. Prince Naveen The smooth-talking prince turned frog may seem like he had a great childhood, and at first glance, he kind of did. But growing up as a spoiled prince isn't always a good thing. As a kid, he was waited on hand and foot by servants. He even had servants to read him bedtime stories. This means his parents probably weren't around much, so he turned into a total snob who couldn't do anything for himself. He became completely lazy and he partied way too much. His parents, the king and queen of Maldonia, decided to cut off his inheritance. He had no money and was completely clueless about adulting. There had to be a less extreme way for his parents to teach him a lesson. Thankfully, Tiana whips him into shape, and turning into a frog definitely helped too. Once you became my wife, that made you a princess. The Beast. Prince Adam, who later became the Beast, is another spoiled, arrogant prince. In the 1991 animated movie, he was cruel simply because he was rich. That's why he was cursed by the Enchantress. But plenty of rich people are kind and know how to love. The 2017 live-action version gave us a lot more backstory about the prince. Repulsed by her haggard appearance, the prince turned the woman away. Hmm. He loved his mother very much, and she was a wonderful woman, but she passed away when he was just a young kid. Prince Adam's father was not a nice person. He raised Adam to be just like him. Adam grew up to be cruel and arrogant, but his household staff knew the sweet young boy was still inside somewhere. It just took Belle's love to bring it out again. Kristoff we know that Kristoff isn't a prince yet, but he will be once he marries Anna. Maybe that will happen in Frozen 2. Do you like it? Like it? I love it! <laughs> I could kiss you! 
Kristoff is another orphan Disney character. He was put into an orphanage at a young age, but he was far too adventurous to live there. He kept sneaking out to the outdoors. Eventually, he left the orphanage to live on his own as a kid. He grew up completely on his own until he rescued Sven and the reindeer. He would watch the ice harvesters and learned how to do the job himself. He was finally adopted by the trolls. He loves them very much, even though he says they can be overbearing and loud. But growing up as a loner who was raised by trolls caused Kristoff to be suspicious of humans. We're glad he now has a life with Anna. Prince Eugene Eugene Fitzherbert, aka Flynn Rider, starts with a similar story to Aladdin. He was an orphan who resorted to stealing to survive, and he wants nothing more than to be rich. He convinced himself his parents were adventurers who would one day return to rescue him from the orphanage. You are my son. But they never did. In Tangled the series, Eugene finds out the truth of his lineage. He was born a prince. He was the son of King Edmund from the Dark Kingdom, but when the Moonstone threatened to destroy the kingdom, Edmund ordered an evacuation. Eugene was taken by a servant and later placed in the orphanage. How sad is that? We knew he was more than just a common thief. We hope that he builds a relationship with his father after Cassandra is defeated. He deserves it. So which Disney prince is your favorite? Let us know in the comments section. Thanks for watching. Give this video a big thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to the things. We'll catch you later.